Welcome to an all new episode of GVN Review. Today we will be breaking down the official gameplay trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, not to be confused with our trailer reaction video <laughs> of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This one will go more into uh, what it looks like the gameplay will, uh, will be about. Uh, if I'm not, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, AJ, the gameplay was from the Xbox X or whatever they're calling the new Xbox. Yeah. It was indeed. Okay. All right. Just putting that out there for my Xbox fans. All right. Um, I'll let you start, AJ. What were your thoughts of this? Uh, to me, it was weird. It didn't really feel like when, like when you say gameplay, I thought we would see like what it's like to do a mission or what it's like to just fight. Um this just kind of seemed like a more exploratory version of the trailer that we got. Um, so what were your thoughts? Yeah, when I first heard that they were doing a gameplay reveal, at first I thought they were just going to give us actual, like, someone playing a game, but we didn't get that. Um, technically, this is still a gameplay trailer since it's part, it's part of the cutscenes, which is still part of the game inside the game mm -hmm. um, so um, people are getting <laughs> really upset because they really wanted to see actual like a demo of the game right and i wanted to as well so i can't i can't um really argue that um so yeah that's that um i want to talk on some points um there was a article on ign talking about how Valhalla is going to be shorter and smaller to address the criticisms of um, Odyssey, where it was people were complaining that it was too big and too many side missions. So with Valhalla, I think they're going to uh, what is it? They're going to try to compact that uh, with like less side missions. I think to have a better story overall story arc and gameplay so i think that's good um they also announced um during the xbox reveal um they will have siege warfare um raids and all of that for valhalla and i think that's a pretty good idea and wait what, what do you mean by that because what i think ubisoft would be smart in doing especially in today's climate would be um to where you can customize your own character and go online and team up with your friends to do raids and and stuff like that if it's just part of the main story and the game is shorter because there's not as many side missions you're gonna have people really piss off that they paid uh, almost 70 dollars for a game that's shorter that's better but shorter to me i i never complain on la noir grand theft auto assassin's creed uh, games like that that are open, uh, The Witcher 3, to me, side missions are awesome because sometimes, like, if I just got past a really, really, really hard level, like, I know you said you didn't really play Black Flag like that, but if you play Black Flag, to defeat a rival ship is a fucking headache. <laughs> So right when I'm done with that, I don't want to do a whole nother ship battle. I want to do like a small little uh, side mission that, you know, I'm using my actual character, uh, you know, take out a few people. Um, so to me, side missions are really what makes things uh, so great. I was watching Joel finish The Witcher 3, and side missions are what helped uh, power him up. So the, the main missions weren't so difficult. Um, so to me, I don't really see what people's criticisms were. That's I know a lot of go ahead. The main focus was for Odyssey is to um do the story, but in, in between those stories, you still had to do side missions to power up to keep progressing into the main story. I think people didn't like that because you had to do like 50 side missions just to keep progressing in that main story. And I think it felt like it took away from that experience because some people just want to know the story story instead of the random side missions and all of that. Well, see, see, to me, I look at side, side missions as two things. One, side missions are sometimes essential but not mandatory. Like, you don't have to do them. Like, uh, for example, if you're playing Grand Theft Auto 
and you're driving through the city and a random lady is like, please help me. He stole my car. You don't have to do that. You know, yeah, like, most, it of the most of the stop missions in Odyssey were mandatory. Yeah. You see, see, to me, if you're going to make my side missions mandatory, it has to relate to the, um, the main story. So, like, for example, what they could have done in Valhalla, instead of reducing uh, side missions, were, um, let's say you have a, a whole village, right? I'm sure there's plenty of people that need help. Uh, someone might need you to, to do something so their crops can grow. So you have to go find this herb. Or like, to me, you can always tie it into the main story. Side missions are only left turns in a straight road. Um, so it's not like you're going completely off course. You just, Hey, make this quick left. And then you're back on the road, make that quick left. And then you're back on the road. Um, so to me, I would never want you to shorten it. And what's going to bother me, AJ, is if this game is really good in in like a month and a half, me and you or less, me and you are both like, yo, did you finish? Yeah. You finish? Yeah. I think that that was way too easy. I think there's going to be an online, um, mode in Valhalla because they also talked about how you can like team up and stuff like that. So I, I, I have a feeling they will have an online mode. I would hope so. I would hope so because online is purely why Grand Theft Auto hasn't developed a, a, a follow up in like almost 10 years. Um, they just been telling you, Hey, I've updated your online and people have been loving it. Um, so, I mean, if, if Ubisoft were to ever do that, I think they would see a large, uh, a large increase in their numbers to where you could team up with your friends. First of all, you could, design your own viking um and then go online with your friends and then do raids together against like other players or whatever um that to me would be great the gameplay of it would be flawless it would be a lot of fun um you know you guys having to scheme figure out ways to take out the other team uh that was one of the things that and people don't talk about this aj that was one of the things that made halo special um i've and this is full disclosure i've never played a campaign of halo ever ever in my life i only ever played multiplayer um because playing with a whole bunch of friends where you go on uh whatever uh level you choose and then seeing who can get the bazooka first um you know that to me was more fun than than anything else so to me uh the times are kind of doubling back into that think about call of duty how they came out with a game purely for what online um you think of Fortnite. you think of stuff that these kids are playing that are multiplayer, uh, or essentially online multiplayer. Um, so Assassin's Creed should definitely develop that. But I'm sorry, I, I took you off what you were saying. What was the third thing? Uh, um, they'll, they'll have a part in the main story where you can forge alliances with kings and stuff. So they'll have that political aspect within the game mode, and I think that's pretty cool. And we haven't seen that yet, I don't think, in the Assassin's Creed game, which is... No. No, you're usually supposed to kill the king, <laughs> not become friends with him. Um, I, I will say this. Um, I don't know when systems decided to stop doing this. Uh, I'll speak for Xbox because I, I don't have a PlayStation. Maybe PlayStation does it. But I don't know when we got out of the idea of demos being important. Um, I think what a lot of these games realize where if your game's not that good, you'd rather someone spend the $60 than to play five seconds of it and not like it and then not buy it. Um, so, I mean, I guess I kind of get it, but to me, demos meant everything, especially if it was a game you were dying to play and you're like, all right, it doesn't come out for another three months. I can play the demo real quick, get a feel of it. So when, you know, when it comes out, I'm ready to go. Um, I don't really get why systems completely halted on that. Uh, I think so the last demo I played that had a demo was Injustice 2. I think that had a demo and then... Destiny 2 had a demo, I think. But don't you remember how you could go on your system and then go to demos and then it would have like a whole crap crap full of, of demos you could download? I, I kind of miss those days because to me, a lot of these games are skimming us, being $60, $70, and then you play it and you're like, I don't like <laughs> this. But you just spent all that money. Um, so to me, a demo is very important because – um, when you try it, you're kind of like, all right, I get the feel of it. So, I mean, to bring it back to the perspective of Valhalla, this wasn't really gameplay. I didn't get a feel of what the mechanics were like. I didn't get a feel of what it was like to kind of, uh, you know, maneuver your way wow. through. Yeah. So to me, I looked at this and I'm kind of like, 
this was just like a glorified uh slow a slower version of the actual trailer that you that you released so to me this told me nothing about your gameplay um like you know at least showing the different visuals showing you kind of you know sneaking through grass to take out people um i got none of that like i i didn't see this and then go oh you could do that i learned nothing um like can I throw axes, <laughs> you know, uh, are my axes, my swords, like a whole bunch of things. I'm pretty sure that was already confirmed that you can throw axes, you can throw spears, um, do wield anything you want. So that, oh, really? that's all in the game. Yeah. Okay. Um, that would have been nice to see, um, rather than them just telling me, but I really got nothing from this. Um, I'm still really freaking excited for this game. I cannot wait. Between this game and the Avengers game are my most anticipated games, I think, in my life. Really? Avengers? The Avengers game? Yeah. Oh. I, would, I would imagine Cyberpunk 2077 or A Last of Us or... Um, I will tell you for the 90th so, time, uh, AJ, I can't be excited <laughs> for Last of Us because I don't. Yes, you can. You can still be excited for it. You can at least be excited for the cutscenes. Excited for what? For, for the cutscenes. You say you're going to watch it? For the cutscenes. Wow, if I'm excited for a game, I'm not going to be excited just for the idea of to watch the movie. I would like to play it. And then uh, get it on PlayStation. It will never happen, AJ. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this this game and, and Avengers are definitely high on my list. Cyberpunk is high on my list, too. It, if I had to pick five, Cyberpunk is in my top three. But that Avengers game looks like it's so much fun. Um, I've always wanted them to take a step above what uh, Ultimate Alliance was, and it looks like that will. But um, back to Valhalla, everything you were reading off that IGN list um, sounds great. Um, I really hope that this game is more centered around just the legacy of it. I don't want to ever flash back to a you know a modern day or anything like that. Uh, that that's that's a stable right there. That's gonna happen. That's yeah, gonna that, happen. To mm-hmm. me, it's 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 what did it happen in Odyssey? Yes. Really? It went modern day? It, it didn't go modern day as much as, like, the previous Assassin's Creed, but... Yeah, I... I, <laughs> Ubisoft, I don't know why you keep doing it. No one wants it. Like, no one leaves these games going, yo, that modern day storyline, man. Sometimes I don't progress through the story just so I won't go. <laughs> Bro, I can't tell you how many times I hit the skip button once it went modern day. I don't care. Like, I don't care about anything that's happening modern day. The game is supposed to be about the legacy. Um, so I'm like, I, I, I don't really care. I would love for Ubisoft to stop doing that. Uh, it, it's not good. It, it, it's not good. It's not fun. And it only really give you much to do with the guy. Like, I remember in the old ones, uh, all you were regulated to do was, like, run away. You could fight a little bit. It wasn't even like you could explore modern day. Uh, like you could explore the the legacy, so I'm like, it, it's stupid. Ubisoft should get rid of it. I really think Ubisoft should listen to its fans more. Um, I, I get you taking out side missions, but our real problem is modern day. Take it out. I just want to play in Valhalla as the Vikings. That's it. I, that's oh, what so so I started Vikings yesterday. Good, right? Oh my God, Ragnar! Right, oh. Oh. right. It gets you hyped for this game, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to stop yeah, watching it because I'm like Valhalla. It feels like it's so far from from coming out. I don't want to continue to watch Vikings to get even more hype for something that's so See, far. My girlfriend watched like a clip of it while I was watching it. She was like, "I want to watch it," so I had to turn it off and now I have to go back to episode one, which is not a problem because I love it so far. It's so good, man. And the farther you get, the more you're just gonna fall in love with that show. I'm I'm somewhere in season two. Um, so I'm not that far in it, but it's it's really, really, really good. How many seasons Actually, are there? Is there like four, five? I'm not even sure. I won't even lie to you. There, there's I want to say at least at least four or five. Um, I started Black Sails because I'm playing Black Flag. That's not that bad. Uh, it, it's really hard <laughs> to get into, but it's not that bad. But um, but yeah, no Vikings, man. You're gonna love it. Y'all are gonna love it. You're gonna hit me up and be like, "Yo, Juwan, what the hell is going on?" I'm like, "I told you, man." Um, but yeah, I think that's all we got for uh, Valhalla gameplay, right? Because there yeah. wasn't much gameplay. 
Um, that was really stupid. And then it was only like a minute and 20 yeah. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that long at all. I don't know what's going on over there in, in, uh, in Ubisoft. I know a lot of people aren't in the building, but you got to construct something better than that. Um, or just wait. Just release a trailer and wait on the gameplay. I think it's because it's coming out. It's coming out soon. The game? I thought it said later this year. Is it? What am I thinking? I'm thinking about Last of Us. Don't That's mind. what you're thinking. Last of Us. Last of Us should have gave us gameplay uh, rather than Assassin's Creed, but we're yeah. We might be getting it. Well, they did show us a little bit of gameplay and the trailer yeah a little bit um but that's all we got for assassin's creed valhalla uh me and aj are both still super excited for that game regardless of what you guys heard from this takeaway (laughs) um we just wanted more actual gameplay and there wasn't enough so it's not a lot for us to cover because it didn't show much um but if you want to see our trailer reaction video um that is on our youtube page uh so make sure you guys check that out but let us know do you miss demos? And also, what do you guys think Ubisoft could be doing with their uh, Assassin's Creed franchise to better up uh, games that are coming coming up in the future? Do you think we- the HBO give us a series <laughs> <laughs> and give the guy? I want the guy from um, that plays Ragnar as the main character for Valhalla if we ever get a series. I don't think you should do uh, this as a series. I think if I think if you were to do a series, it would have to start at the beginning. It would have to be uh, Ezio. It would have to be Ezio, and then you. Wouldn't the what, beginning be not Odyssey? What is it? Origins. It would be Origins. No, 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 no. Not chronologically. Not not. Oh, okay, well. okay, I got Gaming you. Gaming wise, uh, and I told Joel if they were smart, the way to keep viewers on their feet. Um, I can't remember the name. That it's a show with Joel Kinnaman that Tia loves. Um, and the guy changes his sleeve from season one to season two. So season one, it's Joel Kitterman. Season two, it's Anthony Mackie. Oh, that's how, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. That's about how me. Assassin's Creed should be. So let's say you want to do a story arc of Ezio, and we know Ezio spanned across three, maybe four games. So you could do two, three seasons with, with Ezio, right? And then switch it, do a new story. And the new story is a new character, new lead, and then you do one or two seasons of that. I think if you do that, it stops the viewers from feeling as though it's just, it's a continuation. It's the same thing. It's the same, I, thing. It's the same thing. I think there's a way to, if they actually implement the modern day aspect, I think there's a way to actually make it so where, so for like modern day, you have it at the beginning of the first episode or yeah, beginning of the first episode, then throughout the, episode and throughout the whole season don't even go back until that last episode and then that's where you can transfer over to like another story arc like um another character other than Ezio and then from there so it'll be it would just be like the beginning of season one and then everything else is the past and then go back to modern day at the end of season one I and mean, I think that would be a good way to implement it but at the same time, I don't want it at all. But <laughs> if they do it, then there's plenty of ways to do it, and we will have an episode where we dive deeper into these game turn series or turn movies. Um, I will say for anyone watching, uh, they did a fan ja- fantastic job. This came out, God, I want to say ten plus years ago, but there is an actual uh, YouTube Assassin's Creed series that is freaking amazing. Um, it is like really, really, really good, Agent. Uh-huh. Um, it, it just type in Assassin's Creed series in YouTube, um, and, and see what comes up. I'll double check once we end this, uh, and make sure uh, I send you the right one. But um, it's it's really freaking good, and it's what made me say the movie's gonna be great. And then the movie came out, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> like a low budget did better than a, an actual high budget. But um, no. Anyway, guys, that's all we got for you for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let us know down below. Do you miss demos? Also, what do you think Ubisoft can do to improve these games for Assassin's Creed? And also, are you guys looking forward to Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Let us know your comments and thoughts down below. And until next time, guys. Peace.